think classical performances are stuffy, formal affairs? Not for the maestro Martha Teichner has been watching. Louisville, Kentucky has gotten used to the fact that the maestro rides his bike to concerts. No limo, no tux for him. At 32, Teddy Abrams is the youngest conductor of a major orchestra in the United States. And in Louisville, if it's possible for a classical musician, he's a rock star. My approach is very unusual. Part of it has to do with my background as a, as a musician. Uh, involves playing lots of styles of music that are not classical. It involves a lot of improvisation. It involves a lot of collaborations with people that normally don't work with so-called classical musicians. Light a new dawn. Such as Louisville native Jim James from the rock band My Morning Jacket. It just feels good to sing. A success story? Absolutely. In four years here, Abrams has done for the Louisville Symphony what most orchestras are desperate to do. He's increased the audience by 30%. So why Louisville, of all places? You need to know about its musical history. See the bow Jim James is holding? It belonged to his great aunt, Betty Cheeseman, who was a member of the orchestra for 28 years, going back to its founding in 1937. 10 days of unrelenting rain. In response to the worst disaster in the city's history. At Louisville, Kentucky, a business section and many low-lying residential districts were flooded. Loss of life owing to exposure and privation was heavy. Local leaders decided what the devastated community needed to boost morale. Was music. A decade later, the orchestra ran into financial trouble. Again, Louisville's response was radical. It commissioned new works by living composers, more than a hundred over the next 10 years, and became the first orchestra in the United States to start its own record label. Louisville became an important musical destination, but by 2013, the orchestra had once more fallen on hard times, Bankrupt, reeling from a nasty labor dispute, again, it decided to go bold. Enter Teddy Abrams, at the time assistant conductor of the Detroit Symphony and former Boy Wonder. Growing up in Oakland, California, he was already a musical prodigy when his parents took him to see the San Francisco Symphony at the age of nine. I remember seeing the conductor come out on stage, listening to the first couple notes, and I said to myself very clearly, that's what I want to do with my life. That night, I wrote a letter to the music director of the San Francisco Symphony who had conducted that concert. And that was? Michael Tilson Thomas, one of the, the great conductors uh, uh, in the entire world. So the letter is up here. The reply, framed, is on his bedroom wall. This was an amazing response because he took the time to really give me the guidance that would be the foundation for a life as a musician and, and as a conductor. Like ingredients in his recipe for success, to that, Abrams added his own irrepressible enthusiasm and a respect for Louisville's musical past. There was something special in the waters here. And it still existed. And it still existed. And the great thing about coming to a place after, you know, kind of a tragedy is that people are willing to try something, to try anything, do something. There are no rules anymore. And uh, that, I, I thrive on, under those circumstances. When Muhammad Ali died, Abrams set up his keyboard and played for gathered mourners. And like a musical poet laureate, he wrote an opera about Louisville's most famous citizen. I want everyone to bear witness.
witness, I am the greatest. I'm the greatest thing that ever lived. Typical Teddy, he cast a local hip hop artist as Ali. The orchestra is back to commissioning new works. 19 since Teddy Abrams arrived. He's moved to Louisville and made himself at home. He makes fans out of strangers when he plays jazz around town. After concerts, he sticks around in the lobby. A music director should, if they're going to be the music director of X orchestra, live in X and care about the people of X and become one of them. And I, I often say it's just like a politician. If you want to get elected, you better be out on the streets meeting people. And it's exactly the same thing here. What I tried to do is go meet the actual people that, that you're going to make music for. We're going to be doing music, which music is universal. Even in a gym Same full thing, of newly basically. arrived refugees. Louisville, it's a beautiful ville. Who may not have ever heard a symphony. It's our home, it's our home, oh Louisville. The worry in Louisville is that one day, a bigger city with a more prestigious orchestra will lure Teddy Abrams away. The hope is that it won't be anytime soon. Okay, <laughs> great job, everybody.